Yo, 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 what's good, guys? Um, I tried to do this video earlier, but I got cut off a little bit at the end, so just want to go in and, and redo it. And I, I found a couple things that I wanted to uh, add to it, per se. To it. So, for. I know I told you guys that you'll see that my gaming pickups would slow down a lot, and uh, it pretty much has. So, um, let me just go over what I got, and then you guys will kind of see why it's taken me a long time to. Like, like I don't have the largest collection for the amount of time I've been collecting, because I just don't like to spend a lot of money on games like that. I do love collecting, but I also love just, like, getting the deal. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I picked this up, the Shovel Knight Amiibo. It's pretty awesome. I already damaged the box a little bit, so that kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Anyway, I paid full retail price for that, so... Uh, yeah, so. And then I got uh, Tom Nook, the man selling you the goods, and Rossetti, the man bothering the shit out of you. Um, these guys, I paid um, five bucks each, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, I guess the Animal Crossing amiibos aren't selling very well, because, like, I think every store by me has them, like, on sale. Um,. Like a significant amount. So, uh, then my boy Matt, I don't know if I put this in another video. Sorry if I put it in the video before, but he caught me this shit. So, uh, one thing I like about this amiibo is it's, it's big as hell, and it's actually like heavier than all the other amiibos. I don't know if it, I think it's the base, because the base is like a pipe, and it's really thick. So, this is a great amiibo. At first, I was on the fence about it, because I was like, Yo, Retro Mario, like, eh, you know, that's dope. A good reason to buy one. I don't buy, like, every Amiibo. I just get a couple of the ones I like. And, um, but then when you see it, you gotta get it. Because it's actually way cooler in person, the size and weight. Okay, so moving on. Um, I went to the, uh, WWE NXT show. And, uh, the town that it's in is pretty cool. So I walked around a little bit before the show, and then I picked this up at um, Kill Screen Games, which is an independent game store. And I just thought, man, that's so f that's so fitting for the occasion. Firepower Wrestling S, six-man scramble for the Sega Saturn. It is the uh, first time six people were playable, so you could do your 3v3s, or just have like six-man um, battle royals, which is pretty cool. Uh, one thing to note, I paid a lot for this. I paid 20 bucks for it, and um, What's cool is just the condition. It's in like mint condition. It has the spine. It has both instruction booklets, all the Japanese stuff, the stickers, everything is just awesome. So, you know, I didn't mind the price, I guess you could say. Uh, one thing to note though, when I was in Japan for a year and a half, I was buying mostly things I could recognize in terms of like, oh, I'll buy like the Japanese Zelda version. Or things I just knew were like Japanese. I really wish when I was there that I got more Japanese Sega Saturn. Because I really, really... The Saturn has grown on me, man. Everybody loves the Dreamcast, and I get that, me too. But the Saturn is just... It's just as cool, man. And I just think that it's just a great system. Uh, I'm going to start collecting more for it, just picking up the random games. But what I do got to do before I start collecting for it... I'm actually going to get a Saturn setup, like, specific uh, here in the basement. So, I'm definitely going to do that and try to just stream more, like, Saturn stuff. Great system and a great D-pad, um, or, well, joy joypad, I should say. There's still people that play fighting games to this day on the Saturn pad because it just... Sega and Capcom, man, they just, they ran, you know right next to each other with the with for like a decade with those systems all right so the next two games are awesome I'm really happy to have them I picked up gravity rush uh, I love this game I loved it for the Vita and uh, I took it with me on a road trip and just played it uh, beat it I'm pretty sure so uh, look forward to playing this and beating this on the PlayStation 4 can't wait for that I wonder if you even use the uh, controllers uh, touchscreen or touchpad and then this is you know 
crazy because all I do is pretty much play Street Fighter and I waited a week or so to buy this game. Uh, I knew it was going to be basic when it came out. Uh, they didn't like, you know, specifically. A lot of people complained about how this game is not a full game, but I guess if you follow Street Fighter as intensely as I have, Capcom said many times what they were releasing in this game, you know? They almost made it, I would say made it a strong point to say, look, this this release is basic. They, they have charts and graphs explaining the uh, planned releases, so I get it, man. Don't pay 60 for it. As a customer, I felt ripped off, like, as a gamer, but, like, as a Street Fighter player, never. They always deliver, so there's just two separate ways to look at it, you know what I mean? And I, I, on fighting games, I don't think Capcom's ever really disappointed. I mean, if you look at the way they do things, well, I'm going off on a tangent, but if you look at the way they do things, they fix most of the errors that they find in terms of, like, treating the people who love the games the right way, so... To the button mashers, sorry, but yeah. Um, that's my whole pickup, guys. So, um, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, sorry that there's uh, such a small amount, but that's the way it is, man. You know, you got... I don't really pick up a lot of games, so. Alright, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.